What's up guys and welcome to another guide video. In this video we're going to be obviously playing as him, the ball, the little hamster, rolling around. And yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play him like a top 500. Let's get right into the video. First things first, just a little tip off the bat. You don't always have to reload him and guns if you did not know. This is just a simple tip. If you shoot a bunch and then you go into your ball form and you wait a couple seconds, it'll go right back to 80 which is your max ammo capacity in your clip. So you don't always have to reload, but it is good just to obviously reload still. So the second thing I would like to say about Hammond is his ultimate. This is a huge tip. So what a lot of Hammonds do is they would hook in and then they slam first and then they use their minds, right? What you actually wanna do is hook in, use your minds and then slam. What this is gonna do, your minds are gonna fall first, of course. And then as soon as you slam on the ground, it's gonna attract the enemies towards you. It's gonna rip them in and then they're gonna be on top of your minds and then they'll get hit by all your minds. So what this looks like is like this, go in first, you press Q and then you slam. And you see how it pushes them up in the air and it kind of pulls them towards you. And yeah, this will work better in open areas, obviously when they're next to a wall, it's gonna be harder. But when they're in open areas like over here, it'll work way better. It'll pull them in a little bit and it'll bounce them up in the air. And then they'll just be landing on the mines that are scattered all around them. Another thing is always aim high with Hammond, right? With his grappling hook. So if you aim high, like up here, you aim high, you have a longer reach and you can just hold on to this. You see how I'm just swinging onto one position and I'm just holding onto it the entire time until it breaks off. It's pretty insane if you hold higher. If you hold lower, you can, but you just can't get up high enough you always have to like struggle with it so that's a good little strat right there you always just hot hold eye so i can hold eye like this and then swing and then dive right there if i wanted to slam and yeah always aim high so you can get up to high places basically also you always want to use your shields which is your e ability your shields is going to give you more armor basically and you always want to use that after you slam so what that looks like is the same thing as the mines you go in you slam first and then you press e and it'll basically boop everybody in the sky and you'll get more armor because they're all around you because you booped them in the sky. So I'm going to be careful of Macho. I'm going to spoop him back so he gets away from my team a little bit. And I'm just going to spray him again. I'm going to aim high again. Try to get a slam on Ramacha. Ramacha's actually dead here. I can get the fair as well. And I'll slam into the soldier. Press E on him after I slam into him. Kill him real quick. Got them both, got the Mercy and the Tracer. I'm gonna boop the uh, soldier so he's away from my team, so he can't really visor my team as much. So boop him back. I'm gonna mine first, then slam. Try to get this Anna here. Got the Anna finally. I'm gonna go back in for another slam on a soldier. Try to get the soldier now, got the soldier. Try to go after the Mercy now. Still gonna try to go after the race. He's trying to boop him in here. Boop the one into the mine and the other one, the echo got, so that's perfect. Always try to use your grapple to your advantage to boop players into really crappy situations, just like that, back into your mines. Obviously, we'll try to slam the Ramacha. Press my E after the slam. I'm actually gonna get out of here since I'm anti again. So I'm gonna try to fall back a little bit. Try to go back on the Ramacha since he's low. Always wanna go after who's low. I'm going, I'm gonna slam, and I'm gonna mine then slam as usual. I'm gonna try to go after the Mercy here since he's rezzing. Too bad he got the res off, I was trying to boop him away. I think their Mercy was low, but he's getting healed now. Keep trying to go after the Mercy with my Alari. Try to get the uh, soldier. Let's see if I can boop the ram away from my Mercy. Yup, I saved my Mercy just now. And then also when you're in turret form, you do have a hitbox on your head. Remember that, you have criticals. But when you're in ball form, you do not have criticals. So they can only shoot you in the body and it's actually perfect for you to stay alive even longer. All right, looks like my team is ready. So I'm gonna go in with my mines here. I'm gonna try to go high first. I use my mines after I slam. Try to get this mercy here. Definitely try to get the mercy since we use a Lari ult. We popped a lot of ults here. And then the ram last. There's a little HP anyways. I'm gonna try to boop into the tracer if I can. Try to meet him over here. Okay, he's already dead. If he was going to go over to mini, I would have made him and slammed him. I'm going to try to just try to stay on the, both the supports back here and see what I can do. I stay on both supports so it really distracts them. So they can't heal their team as much. I'm going to try to go in for a big slam on the Ana. Looks like she's already dead. Tracer's got no recall, so I'm just going to focus the Tracer now. There we go. Tracer's dead. 
And now it's just Mercy, it looks like. And we got it. Also, you can stay on the car, the payload, and jump off and slam there if you wanted to without hooking. That's another thing that a lot of Hammonds do. I just didn't do it there because I was so focused on the Tracer's recall and things like that, but I should have. I'm trying to mine on point and then slam, see if I can get anybody around here. I'm just gonna slam just in case. Like we were dropped right on the right on the vines. I'm gonna try to push the Anna into the mines, which I did successfully. Try to slam on the Genji just by jumping off the cart. If I don't have to hook at all, I can just slam off the cart. There we go, just gotta track him a little bit. There's another player coming in, so I'm gonna try to boop him away. Try to boop the sim away so he can't even touch the cart. And there we go, I would have tried to boop the Diva away as well. <laughs> I'm sure the nine points so they can't get on it. Try to boop the uh, Doom into the mines, which I did. <laughs> nice. There we go, got the Hanzo easily. I'm gonna try to get the May here since May doesn't have ice block. I heard it. Try to go after the Garagol now and then try to get the Anna that's on the back line. Push him back from his teammate so he can't heal him. Uh, and there we go. Good game. Good game. Got the Ram, that's good. I'm gonna try to go in for a bomb slam on the McCree here. See if I kill him. Yup, he rolled right into my bombs, that's perfect. We try to stall now the best I can. Try to get over to my teammate that can heal me. Okay, he's getting owned, so I'm actually gonna dip over to the health pack over here. Can't get back in. Someone ran into my mines here, so that's easy. I just played patiently. I'm gonna go in after the Lari since she's in the back line and she's their healer. I wanna watch out because she does have her pylon around the corner. There you go, she actually got killed. Try to boop the McCree away from their pylon so I don't even have to shoot the pylon now. And now he's backing up into the room, so it should be an easy kill for me if I don't die from the tracer. That's fine. We did kill McCree even though I got stuck by the tracer. I got the Mercy and the Moyer, so that's both supports down. I do see the Bastion up there, so I'm gonna try to get up to him. Actually, he jumped back down, so that's perfect for me. And I can just go on the Diva last. I just am on the Ryan here and then get back a bit because I know he has wall. So it looks like Ryan does have Shatter as well. So you just want to be careful about that. I'm gonna try to get on point and just place my mines on point. So they have to walk into the mines since it's overtime. And there we go. Every time when it's overtime, by the way, always, always, always place your mines on point just like this. Scatter them around or on top of point. So they can't touch the point at all unless they have to kill your mind and or obviously just die to them. Trying to go in on them, get right back out after I slam just to disrupt them and make them use this turret mode. Now they do have a pylon over there I really want to kill. So I'm going to try to get over there. I know Bastion does have his turret mode again. So I'm just going to try to kill the pylon and then get right back out. We did get the point. Because I am distracting them. Get some shots in and get right back out. Try to slam the teleporter and where we're trying to get in it. I do have his Arya. But I am trying to just get a lot of damage on her. Make make her life miserable. Try to get on the Symmetra as well. Kill the pylon. I'm gonna go after the Lucio that's pushing and all the Lari. Nice, we're plating, so this is perfect. And they got too distracted and they see 9 6. Obviously, every time when they're trying to push point like that and you have point control, you always just want to try to boop them away the best you can and try to get some slams in. I kind of messed up on my slams and my grappling hook, but that's fine. I still was able to boot people away. And yeah, just try to make sure you get your bombs as well to block. I was gonna block off the main entrance with my bombs. But they can't even get through the main entrance. They'd have to go through the sides. And that would have really messed them up. And made them C9 most likely. Because the point was about to go to 100%. So. I 
Got the Alari when she ulted, which is great. So now we can just freely push in after her ult wears off. Here we go. I'm gonna freely push in. I'm gonna slam their whole team from behind. I'm gonna kill Lucio before he can pop his ultimate. Sombra did pop her ultimate though, so I'm gonna stay on her actually and make her translocate. Here we go. Try to kill the Zarya while she grabbed us. And try to boop the Sombra if I see her. Nope. So right there, I just wanted to go in, dive in real quick, and then get right out. I ended up just staying because I saw Lucio was going to be low, so I wanted to go in and just kill the Lucio. I do have a bombs for this last fight here. I'm going to have to use them now since we did get picked. i have to use them before I get hacked. We're going to top up all of them. Here we go, finally got the Zarya, and it sounded like Lucio couldn't beat again. He actually died while he was in his beat for the second time in a row, which is pretty funny. And now I'm just going to try to boop them away while they're pushing up. And there we go. It's another easy game. My time two and seven, not bad. Died too many times a little bit, but not bad. As you can see, Hammond is very fun to play. He's more of a divey, dive on the supports, just mess up their backline type of tank. And you can hold points for a very long time because he literally does not die. He has so much HP once he gets his shields up and his armor. He gets healed a lot. He's a super, super gluey, tanky tank, just like Orisa. Can disrupt the battle a lot and make it so they can't even get on point, make him C9. All kinds of crazy stuff you can do with him. And there's endless possibilities with him and, and his ultimate and things like that. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon. You'll see a notification from me every time when I upload a video, which I will be uploading every single day from now on. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the stuff I went your guide. Let me know if you need any more help in the comments below. I will be replying to comments to help you guys out more in certain scenarios. You guys can leave in the comments if you need help. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and have a great day and or night, and peace.